Whew. Okay, let's do this. Hi, I'm Sabina, and today I wanna to introduce you to seven apps that have really helped me with my language learning. I'm currently learning Spanish and Arabic, and Arabic's the one that really allowed me to test how good these apps are because it's a much less common language to be learning, and therefore the resources out there are usually pretty bad. All seven of these apps feature a lot of languages, with two in particular being incredibly diverse, and they are all free, or at the very least, you can use them for free, which is what I've been doing. The first app I want to talk about is Duolingo, which is probably one of the most popular apps out there. It's certainly the one that most people recommend it to me, and rightly so. The way you learn through this app is by doing lessons, which then help you move on to the next lessons, etc., etc until you've gone through all the checkpoints, completed all the lessons, and finished the language. Like, personally, I have completed Arabic <laughs> on Duolingo, but I'm still not very good. Arabic's one of the newest languages that they've added, if I'm correct? If I'm incorrect, then it's not. Um, but it is definitely one of the newer ones. I first used this app to learn Arabic, and now I've started learning Spanish through it, and I have to say Spanish is a lot better. It has loads more content, it's a lot more engaging and fun, so I would recommend Duolingo primarily if you're studying one of the more popular languages, but I wouldn't write it off. I mean, I definitely did still enjoy my Arabic classes. One feature of this app that I really like is the gamification. They have some really cool badges and little awards for doing things like logging onto the app every day, completing tasks and challenges, learning more words. The app gives you quite a few notifications, which you can turn off, by the way, uh, but it is pretty persistent. And it has become the source of many a meme where the owl is portrayed as a bit of a villain. By the way, I am doing a 30-day Spanish learning challenge right now, so if you'd like to figure out how that went for me and see the result, then click the bell and subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss the video. App number two is Utalk. Utalk doesn't seem to be as popular as Duolingo, but I actually find it pretty great. The one thing that it does really well is teaching you different hey. phrases and words yeah. with the correct pronunciation. On Duolingo, sometimes the pronunciation is a bit auto-generated. Like with Arabic in particular, sometimes it's just computerized and quite hard to make out how you should actually be pronouncing it. But you talk uses real speakers. It feels super natural. The dialogue is colloquial. It's exciting. It's highly applicable. The absolute best thing about you talk though is just how many languages they have. It's actually incredible. Let me just Google it. 140 languages. That's actually incredible. I know there are over six and a half thousand languages out there or something crazy like that, but 140 will definitely keep you busy for at least a few years. The one downside of this app is that it is much harder to use it without paying money. It is possible, but it just takes quite a while to accumulate enough coins in the app to be able to purchase more lessons. But if you do want to pay for it, the plans are pretty affordable and you can just buy a monthly subscription for 10 pounds a month. I assume it's going to be like 10-ish something dollars. So affordable and really, really useful. Next up is Drops, which is an app I do use, but I don't use it quite as much as the other two, primarily because they're air Arabic is not amazing. The way they handle the pronunciations, again, is a bit computerized, but if you use it for pretty much any other language, it will work perfectly. And it is a good app. It just asks you to spend five minutes on it every day. And it is kind of a cool interface. I'd never encountered anything like it before. It does make learning quite intuitive, fun. There are loads of different features to play around with. And overall, I would say it is very engaging. It's nicely designed. There's cool like audio effects. I definitely enjoy it. It does teach you words that you probably wouldn't think to otherwise learn, which is another big bonus. And yeah, overall, just a really cool app. Very easy to use without paying for it. So nice and free. Number four, the Memrise app. I have to say the Memrise app has kind of blown my mind with one feature in particular. It's called the explore feature. And what it does is it enables you to point your camera at an object and then get a translation of what that is. Like, this app makes me feel like I'm living in the future. I think it's 
Honestly, incredible. I can't believe their technology is that well developed, that ahead of its time, and it's free. You can, again, subscribe with this one, and you might have to if you want to use some of the premium features but the subscription again is quite affordable and i mean that explore feature just is absolutely crazy it does work pretty well as well i have tried to challenge it with different objects but it never failed me so yeah go memorize okay next up number five by the way i am naming these in no particular order don't worry number five is Tandem, <laughs> no particular order, but I have written it down. Number five, Tandem. It's a really cool app for those of you who might already have some skills in a given language, but wanna practice it with native speakers or other people who are learning it as well. You create a profile, you write down which languages you're learning and which ones you already know, and then you're partnered with people who are learning the languages you know and know the languages you're learning. It's a lovely exchange system and they have some really good filtering features. Filtering features on language learning apps are something that's particularly important if you're a woman. Now, maybe I'm being a bit cynical, but quite often I have found that I create a profile on these apps or websites and I get many men reaching out to me and I don't think what they're thinking about is language learning, which is okay because on this app, I can just filter it by gender. So I have been speaking with some lovely ladies from Syria, Egypt, and other parts of the Middle East and the Arabic speaking world, but obviously it's completely up to you how you filter it and who knows, maybe this has a higher success rate than Tinder. Who's to say? When you're chatting with people, the app also has quite a few different, quite handy features where you can translate their messages, you can have the system replayed or kind of read them to you out loud. Um, what else? You can comment on different things and give people corrections if they make small mistakes and stuff like that. I actually think this is a great app and I highly recommend you use it. The end. <laughs> Number six is iTalkI, and I have been using this app slash website for pretty much a decade, I think. And their service is pretty similar to Tandem, but the one ace up their sleeve is their robust tutoring system. So you can be matched with community tutors who do this for free, but you can also be matched with professional teachers. And they are actually really good. I did one paid lesson with a lady from Syria. She was so friendly. She came really well prepared. The language, the, sorry, the lesson was really affordable. I would definitely do it again. In fact, I might have to because the way the system is set up is that you have to buy credits and these are not that flexible. It needs to be 20, 30, 40, that kind of thing, dollars and then you apply those towards your classes. And now I think I have about $20 left, so I will need to spend them somehow, uh, but I'm pretty excited about it. Definitely not complaining. I do wish their charging system was a bit more flexible where you just pay per class, but I understand why they're doing this. It means more revenue for them, so whatever. Good on them, the service is excellent. You can very easily use it for free. And they have one additional feature that I think you'll enjoy a lot, especially if you're studying a language at school or you're university. You can upload written entries and then people will for free go in and correct them for you. So here as an example is a notebook entry I wrote several months ago and five people have corrected it. So you can see people go into a lot of detail and they give it a lot of love. And number seven is an app called Hi Native. I haven't used this app as much as I have used the others, but it is extremely handy, especially if you're a more advanced learner. Say you're writing an essay in English if you're not a native speaker or any other language and you're struggling with a particular sentence you think mm, does this sound natural or maybe I need to tweak the wording a little bit well then you can go onto the app write down the sentence and ask for native speakers to have a look at it and let you know whether that feels natural to them. You can also ask people for different translations, how to spell words, pretty much anything that you can think of. And then obviously, as a good person, you can go through the app and correct other people's work. People on there are also pretty fast. I used to translate a sentence that says, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And somebody replied to me with, the translation in Arabic. <laughs> Are you ready? Arjukum fi nati bil YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Shukran As you can see, mastering a language on 
Duolingo doesn't mean that you've mastered it. Okay, these are my seven apps. Have you guys ever used any of these? And if so, what did you think? Let me know in a comment below and also let me know what apps you use that I've not mentioned because there are dozens out there. There are so many and I'm sure that there are great apps that I've missed out in this video purely because I don't know them yet, but I would like to. So leave them in a comment below. That is it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time, hopefully. Bye.